shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this privilege you've given to us to hear your word. I pray, Lord, as many that will hear the sound of my voice this moment, your power will come into the Lord. Those that are sick, I command their sickness out of your body in the name of Jesus. All these people that are under afflictions and terminal the devil, you are released today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says there is no enchantment against Jacob, not a divination against Israel. All those children of God everywhere in the part of the world, the enemy oppressing you, tormenting you. The name of Jesus, I break every yoke. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, It shall come to pass that on that day his body shall be taken away from all the shadow, and his yoke from all the neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed by the anointing. The anointing in the name of Jesus. Let every yoke of the enemy be destroyed. Every yoke of sickness is in your body. I command it to be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. I command every burden of the enemy to be taken away from off your shoulder in the name of Jesus. Be free from every torment. Be free from every oppression. Be free from every worst of the devil. The Bible says that he that committed sin is of the devil. For this people, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Every works of sin in your life be destroyed. The power to sin be, the, be removed from your life in the name of Jesus. From today, you will not sin. See, we have no dominion over you. Sickness, we have no dominion over you. Every oppressive spirit, which some ways that will not oppress you anymore. As you receive this word, you will arise and you will shine in the name of Jesus. You will know your privilege as a child of God and you will grow in the faith. The Holy Spirit will become your teacher from this moment in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' mighty name I pray. You're welcome to today's teaching, and it's a very important topic that says the power of believers in Christ Jesus. The power of believers in Christ Jesus. If you're a believer, I say to you, congratulations. And if you're a believer, it's a privilege for you to take the step and join this in the indomitable people of God. They cannot be dominated, they cannot be overcome by any satanic powers. If you want to enjoy the blessings of God, you want to enjoy personal relationship with your Creator, I think you have to be very serious with this message, and you have to follow the message as I take you to the scriptures, chapter to chapter, verses to verses, word to words, and you're going to see your life will never be the same any longer in the name of Jesus. The power of believers in Christ Jesus. Matthew chapter 28. Matthew chapter 38, reading from verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in the earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Teach them to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. This is a great commission our Lord Jesus Christ has given to every child of God. And he says that all power is given unto him in heaven and on the earth. You know the mercy of whom we serve, our Lord Jesus. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. All power is given to Jesus in heaven and on the earth. There are people that are seeking powers. And they don't know, they, 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 they have the greatest power. Anyone in Christ Jesus, you weigh the greatest power, whatsoever. No power can be compared with our mercy, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1 21, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 21, we're going to see what the scripture tells us about the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 21, far above all principality and power, and might, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and has put all things under his feet, and have and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is the body, the fullness of him that filleth or in all. Do you see that our Lord Jesus, all power is given unto him? All power, all power is given to him. It's far above all principalities. All power and might 
and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world also in that which is to come no wonder the bible series in philippians chapter 2 verse 9 11 we have for god also has highly exalted him and given him a name that's above every name that in the name of jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things within the earth and every tongue should confess that jesus christ is the lord to the glory of the most everlasting father I am very, very, very proud of my Lord Jesus Christ because He is the ultimate power. He is the greatest power. He is the mighty power. No power to be compared to Him. No power anywhere to be compared with the, with the power of the living Son of God. Yes, you over there, when you have a problem, you are running to the herbalists, you are running to spiritualists, you are running to fake prophets, you are going here and there running skater scatter, not knowing that there is power in your Savior. This teaching will open your spiritual eyes and you will behold wondrous things out of the Lord of the most everlasting God in the name of Jesus. My people, do not live in ignorance anymore because the Bible says my children are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. My people, my people are destroyed. Yes, a lot of people are destroyed today because they lack of the fundamental knowledge about Jesus. They do not know who Jesus is. And when you go to ask a lot of people, do you know the merciful Jesus who you proclaim that your servant is? Many cannot tell you who Jesus is. I want to tell you who Jesus is today. That Jesus is the living Son of God, whom all power is given in heaven and on earth. He is far above all things. All things are created and all things are made by him and for him. How do I get this? In Colossians chapter 1, verse 15, Who is the image of the invisible girl, the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created that are in heavens and that are in earth, visible, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers or things, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. You see what the Bible is saying about Jesus? Who is the image of the invisible God? The firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created, that in the heaven and that in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, or principalities, or powers, all things were created by him and for him hallelujah i want to tell you today my sisters my brethren you don't have to seek for help any other place jesus is the ultimate is the greatest is the mightiest you do not seek help anywhere that is what i am telling a lot of people it is the covetous that are pushing all these so-called false prophets that are in indulging in occultic practices because they go after the material things of this world. If you're talking about power, the devil can give you power to work miracles. What a shame. There is only one that has power to do all things. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. The, the so-called miracles is deceptive miracles. The so-called words you get outside Jesus is counterfeit so if you want to get power you need power it is in Christ Jesus and that is the power our Lord Jesus has given to everyone that believe in his name if a believer Christ has given you power unless you're not a believer because in heavenly ranking we see after the God the Father, after the God, God, the throne of God, the glory of God, after the God the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, we're talking about the angels. After the angels, we're talking about the believers. After the believers, we're talking about Satan. After Satan, the unbelievers, the sinners, you are the least. If you have not received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you are under the devil. No matter what you claim, no, God forbid, but that is the truth. You are just like an handkerchief in the hand of the devil because you are the least in the ranking. But I want to tell you today, I have a good news for you. If you can embrace Jesus as a personal Lord and Savior, 
you'll be lifted up and you will come to the throne of power, to the throne of grace, where you receive the power of Christ and where the devil will be below you. But as far as you have no Christ in you, no matter how you use the word reject, it does not work that way. We know the truth. You know the truth that no matter, it's not by rejecting by words, but practically, I'm telling you in the spiritual ranking where you belong to, those in the words that have not Jesus in their life, you are still under the devil and he still be the one controlling your life. If they want to slaughter you today, he will kill you. You want to put sickness in you, he will do that. You want to oppress you, he will do that. You want to torment you, he will do that. He want to close your business, he will do that. Whatever the devil want to do to you, he can do it easily to you because you're under him. But uh, Jesus has come. That you will come up from that the least level you are. And you come up to embrace the word of God. And receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. In John chapter 1 verse 11 and 12. He came unto his arm and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. Do you see how you're going to be lifted up from that lowest ebb of your life today? Do you see how you're going to get rid of Satan in your life? Do you see how you're going to get out of that position that the devil will no longer oppress you? If you can receive Jesus, as many as receive him, to them he gave power to become sons of God. If he can tell the serve and receive Jesus as a personal Lord and Savior, you will have power. You will receive the power to do exploits for the Lord. But if you have not Jesus in you, you have no power. Any power beside Jesus is counterfeit power. That is why those that seek help or seek power from the kingdom of darkness what they do is deception. They are full of deceptive works. They are, f they are full of fake works. They are full of evil, subtlety. They are using witchcraft. They are using sorcery. And that is not power. It is counterfeit power. Believers are above those levels. You are above those levels. Witches are under you if you are a believer. Congratulations, believers all over the world. I you sir? Congratulations. Keep praying. You're on the right track. Not just making heaven alone, but you have power and authority as a true child of God. There is a source, the power of God, any time, any moment, anywhere. I want to show you something in the scripture that we amaze you a little bit. And uh, just to open your eyes more and more in the spiritual realm. Let's go to Acts chapter 19. You're going to see what happened in this place. Acts chapter 19, verse 13. Them starting of the vagabond Jews, as the says, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus. Sorry, I joy you by Jesus whom Paul preached. And there were several sons of one scaver, a Jew, and chief of the priest which did serve. You see, these people, they saw the disciples of Jesus exercising the power, the great commission the Lord has given to every believer and they think that anyone can call anyone and cast out them from any person. Let me tell you one thing. It is true that in the name of Jesus, he works for those who are for Jesus. He works for the Christians who surrender to Jesus. If you're not surrender to Jesus, when you use the name, the devil will not bow them before you. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every name must bow, every tongue must confess. Yes, we know that. But if you have not received Jesus in your life, wishes will not bow before you when you use the name of Jesus because you are the least in the ranking. You are the least. Unbelievers are the least. Sinners, you are the least in that ranking. So you must get out of the place you are today. These several sons of scaffers, they support. Any, any way Paul is 
He charges the demon anywhere there's evil spirit. I command you, leave that body in the name of Jesus. The evil spirit will obey. The disciples, they have the power because it is a power given to every believer. And these sons of scavengers, they thought you can, they can do it. We can get somebody that is possessed of the evil spirit and we can cast the evil spirit out. We can shut the evil spirit. Come out in the name of Jesus and the evil spirit will come out. Does it work that way? Let's see what happens in this place. In verse 15, And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and power I know, but who are you? I said, I know Jesus. All power is given to him in heaven and the earth. We know that he is a messiah. We know he is a uh, beloved son of God. We know all these are created by him and for him. So we know the authority that is in Christ Jesus. We must bother at his name. We know him. We know those that follow Jesus. We know those that genuinely follow him. Not the counterfeit one, not the first prophets, not the church goers, not the, the backsliders, but the people that are really living out and obeying the, the words of the master, Lord Jesus, whom Jesus told us in John chapter 10, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. And when they hear my voice, they will know that the master has spoken. Therefore, if you're if you're a sheep of Jesus, he know he knows you, and you know him. Therefore, you must be obedient to his word. So, the evil spirit, I want to tell you, you believers today, Satan so know you. Evil spirit, they know you. They know where you belong to. They know who is a master. So, when you speak, they must obey you as a true child of God. But if you are say, a sinner. And you want to cast out devil, you want to do great work, you cannot. It's not going to work that way. You must take this step. As many as you receive him, when you receive Jesus as a personal Lord and Savior, that is when this power will come into your life for you to combine, for you to chase away the wishes, for you to chase away the wisdom, for you to overcome the forces of darkness. Without you surrendering to Jesus for the power to come to you, you cannot get it by any other means. There's no shortcut to that. Those people that want to get shortcuts of power, they are the word that fought a victim of oppression. They are the one that fought a victim of sowing their soul to the devil. There is so many false prophets that sow their soul to the devil because they do not understand that the scripture that all power belongs to Jesus. All power belongs to Jesus. They wanna they, be, they cannot live out the life, they, they cannot obey the voice of the Lord, they cannot live a holy life, a righteous life that will permit them to do great exploit in the in the ministry of our Lord Jesus. Therefore, they want a shortcut where they can do it, where they can get our excessive riches, excessive richness in this earth. And that is why you see they, they use evil forces rather than depending upon Jesus and see what happened the evil spirit they know the true believers you know it's not by where you carry a Bible the biggest Bible on the earth and walking or putting it on your head and carrying it in your hand and you're gonna tell me oh, I'm, a I'm a true believer I'm a true Christian anybody can carry the Bible but what we're talking about the true believers who receive Jesus the Bible says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, is a new creature, all things have passed away, all things have become new. The words that all things have become new in their life, they have lived their old life. They are working in faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. Their sins have blotted out of their life. And these are the words that know Jesus, that have received Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. And where such people, this category of believers, when they speak the word of God and the evil spirit, we see that yes, I know poor, yes, poor, he was a sinner, but now he's a true believer. I know all their persons, I know Jesus, but you that are calling on the name of Jesus, you are under me in the ranking. Who are you? What happened to this man is terrible. In verse 16, and the man in whom the evil spirit was lived on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they flee out of their house naked and wounded. Do you see what happened? The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 when the enemy come in one way they will flee away in seven ways but here they flee away before the 
evil spirits, seven words. They flee from the seven words. They flee naked and wounded. The evil spirit defeated them. I want to tell you, if you are still living in sin, you are slain to sin, you are slain to set up, the evil spirit defeats you. The evil spirit op oppresses you. 